We're heading up US 95 in Nevada for the next leg of our adventure. Past the solar farms and over the mountains. We set up camp in Pahrump, Nevada. And it wasn't long before we got some unexpected visitors. Just hanging out, crazy. We're not quite sure where this pack of burros came from or where they went, but they were fun to watch while they were hanging out with us. see a turtle off in the desert before. Cool. That is a horse wandering through my camp. I don't see that every day. This was a somewhat less pleasant sight knocking on my door at 7.45 in the morning. Almost three years on the road, and that was the first time I've ever gotten the knock. The one thing nomads always dread. Fortunately, I was not in trouble. The ranger was coming around to everybody's rig in the area, making contact, informing us of the 14-day limit with a 25-mile minimum move, just so that we were absolutely aware of it. Then he also checked our IDs. Now, there are some who would say, perhaps correctly, that he didn't have the right to do that and that I was within my rights to say no, and that's entirely possible. But I figure this is the guy who has the right to tell us we need to get off of the public land. And if we don't cooperate with him, well, he could make my life a little more difficult. So I handed it over. He ran it, no problems. Of course, there is now a note of the date we made contact, so if I'm still here 14 days after that, I'd be in trouble. Of course, I have no intention of doing that, so we're just fine. And he was checking everything. He was checking out, you can't really see these guys in the background over here. He went from me over to Maddie Van Halen, who was parked over there. You can take a look at his video for his perspective on the thing. He even got a little video of the encounter. Now, there have been problems in Pahrump since the BLM land is so close to town. There have been problems with people coming out here and setting up long-term encampments, staying out here for months instead of the two weeks. And also some rather shady characters hanging out here, if you know what I mean. Two years ago, I camped with the Home on Wheels Alliance caravan here in Pahrump, a little bit down the road from where we are now. And I helped with the cleanup. BLM provided the dumpster and we hauled so much crud out of the desert. We're talking everything from tents to the remains of wooden shacks, long-term establishments out here. And in Maddie's video, you can see the, uh, the RVs that are parked out here. Some of them abandoned, some of them lived in, all of them here for far longer than two weeks. So I actually don't mind that the rangers out here checking up on everybody, checking IDs and such, because he's enforcing that 14 day limit that we all should be following. And well, when he runs someone's ID, that's gonna turn up any warrants they've got on them, which I guess will help keep some of the more seedy characters away from here, or at least off the streets. Anyway, I'm sure some of you are going to rip me apart in the comments for hanging over my ID when I didn't have to, but I just figure it's easier to cooperate than to put up any resistance. They have more important things to deal with than somebody like me. That's Mount Charleston over there, just under 12,000 feet elevation, and there's still snow up there. 
but not for long. It's actually been pretty fun sitting here and watching the snow melt a little bit more each day while we've been camped here. But for now, we've got camp pretty well broken down due to another windstorm coming through. So the shower tent is down, the moonshade is down, despite the fact it fits perfectly on my van, I'll have to show you that. But for now, we're just hunkering down for the wind. We weathered that storm just fine, but a couple days later, this one blew in with absolutely no warning at all. I had to throw everything in the trailer real fast, including the motorcycle, because the winds were even stronger than the storm they predicted. This was the forecast, and this was reality. Those 30 mile an hour winds came up out of nowhere. And now it's raining. You have failed me for the last time, Admiral. At least there's a little bit of a rainbow. I mean, that's pretty, I guess. Right? Didn't you ever know a radio tower station thing was at the end of the rainbow? Well, you do now. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood. A neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? I just washed this for her. And she's never going to know the difference. And that's where we're going to end it for today. Make it as a short one. Not a lot has been going on here in Pahrump as we've just been sitting here, but I did have a big adventure yesterday. I took the motorcycle to Death Valley and that is worth its own video. That one is coming up next. Fleeing from the Cylon tyranny, the last battle star, Galactica leads a ragtag fugitive fleet on a lonely quest. A shining planet known as Earth. <laughs>